Okay, so out where I live, we have lots of bears, fox, raccoons, everything else that comes up to my house and checks into my feeders. So I have this old light on my back porch area that I'm going to swap out for a motion activated ceramic LED security light. And I thought I would share that with you today and give you some of my thinking behind why I should put it there. This thing's been here for 20 years since I built the house and it's corroded inside. That bulb is broken. I'm going to replace it. And I like LEDs because they use less power. It's going to throw a lot of light. And I want a motion detector out there because when a bear or something comes close, I want this light to come on. And I want to be able to angle the light. I don't want this to shine through my windows. I want it to shine outside at the animal that's coming on, even if it's my dog on the porch. Here are the different modes, test mode, auto mode, auto, and it has dust to dawn all the way to the right, so it can turn on at night, turn off in the daytime. The housing is pretty much weather, weather sealed on its own. The details around the back there, there's a center opening for the screw. The screw is provided, and we're going to mount that to an existing light fixture since I'm pulling off the other one. There's a nice weather gasket here. The bar is here that uh, is already set for this unit. Long center screw that's going to go through that and hold it in place. And we have the ground screw, the two side screws, and then that rubber seal that we're going to put in once the screw is in and the fixture is mounted on the wall. This is what it looks like. It's called ceramic because those white uh, liners there for the LED are made from ceramic material. The rest looks like it's heavy duty plastic. And first things first, we got to get this thing out of here. Turn the light off at the switch and at the breaker panel before going any further. So then we're going to unscrew the wires here that are holding that light fixture in. And then we're going to pull the mounting bar out as well. And again, make sure the power is off. Test it first. And uh, now we've got the hot lead and the neutral disconnected. And I'm unscrewing the ground here. We're going to get that off of there. They've provided us with a new one. So we're going to use all the hardware that they've given us. I could just unscrew that center screw and put it in the existing bracket, but I'm going to use what they provided. Might as well start fresh. The housing I'm mounting to is a weather sealed aluminum housing. So that's already good to go. It's the right size. And uh, there we go. We have the fresh bar in there. It has a ground screw, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to hook the ground wire directly to the ground wires that uh, already exist in that uh, outlet there. You have to put that weather seal on first before you run the wires through. And then we're going to mount it up. There you go. And the weather seal is great. It covered the full circumference. It uh, looks pretty nice, much better than the light fixture that I took away. And I want this, as uh, I mentioned before, to aim at the deck and away from the house. I, uh, when my dog jumps up there, when a bear or some other animal comes near the house, I want to hit it with a floodlight. I don't want these lights shining in my door, in my windows. And uh, the articulation here is pretty good. There is no adjustment as far as the tension goes. It does hold its position really well. I don't expect wind or rain or any of the heavy weather we get here to change the lighting position there. Right now it's in the test mode. So with that I could go oh, 20, 30 feet away. And uh, this is during daylight, but it is only 32 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's pretty sensitive to my motion. And then I'm going to put it in auto mode, which is shown here. And of course you have the option to have it come on. Uh, you can control the amount of time. You can control the range that it senses. Don't forget to put that rubber seal right back in there to cover where you put the screw in. Give it a little additional weather protection and it just looks better. And there you have it. So this was pretty quick. This took me 15 minutes to swap out. This is showing the uh, articulation for the sensor there. Remember, you can control sensitivity, range of detection. If you angle it down, it's going to get my dog and other animals that come close. I don't want it to come on every time a deer walks through my backyard. And this is just close-ups of the angles and articulation control. I'm pretty pleased with the build of it. The uh, brackets here are metal themselves. The housing is, as I mentioned before, pretty decent plastic material. This should hold up for quite some time. I got this from Amazon. I'm going to put a link down in the video description so you can check them out too. I, uh, if I don't get lazy here in the summertime, I should put a couple of these out probably by the bee yard as well so that it can detect and light up when uh, animals come near. So I'm going to close out here with my chicken. I'm happy with it. This is the Sansi Motion Activated Ceramic LED Security Light System. Easy install. Thanks for watching.